Here we are at this galleries in Dorset Street off Baker Street and today I'm using a 2024 Polaroid land camera which is a big mother shooting Polaroid. And we're photographing Adrian Gill who wrote the introduction of my book who's also a friend and it, it's, it, it's for the National Portrait Gallery and uh, I'm really looking forward to it having done endless tests and cracked the problem. We're doing all right, actually. These cameras are quite a thing to operate. I mean, first of all, the image is upside down to focus. And it, just the whole process is very painful. I mean, I sat in for this one because I had to know what Adrian Gill was going to go through, when he's going to get impatient and want to go. And I certainly found that out. I mean, he's got to stay totally still and you've got to activate an interest in him to get it to come across in the portrait. So this is the ultimate portrait test, believe me. Focusing is done with a magnifier to get it exactly sharp because you have to be totally spot on, no near miss or anything with this camera, otherwise you're in trouble. Yeah, there's only six of these in the world at the moment, so uh, I mean it is fun shooting this, but I mean this is the test of the photographer because it comes out 2024, which is enormous, you know. So you can't get away with anything. You, the portrait's got to be smack on the button. I operate the camera from the front, um, and someone's keeping an eye on the back, which will be Richard, my assistant, and. Um, Everything's the other way around at the other end. Everything's upside down, right's left and left's right and all that. But, I mean, you just have to trust your eye when you press the button that you've got the picture. It's really it's, it's minute movements that yeah. you make, suddenly hugely exaggerated in the back of the camera. I've so. been told that before. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you wish to bring in a pooch at the last bit. OK. Perfect. Is that, that's the processing marks. Do you notice how very similar our hair is? Yes. <laughs> that yes, sense, it is. Coarse wiry. I well, a bit very. No, it doesn't show. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to have the crossover like you were saying. <laughs> Terence, coming, yeah. thank you for <laughs> I coming. A dream about this last night that you came dressed up as Nefertiti and said so this is. No, he nearly did. Meat. No, no, he, <laughs> did, he came. But well, me, I came dressed up as Nefertiti. I thought, well, I'm not sure if it's the right. So, you thing know, I did. Nearly, I nearly bought all sorts of things. I was going to be so dull. Adrian, if you can shift to your right ever so slightly. Richard, you've got that hand and not that. Yeah, the hands that we want to see can come higher. Crop there, right? It crops at the very bottom of the cuff. Fair. Perfect. Getting right. The hand. And we're all sharp. Well, that's what I need to check now. Adrian, just lean backwards for me a little. Whoop, too much. Good. Good face. Ooh. Perfection. Oh. That's it. Just no, it's a very strong shot of the eyes, but I mean, the face is great, Adrian. Christ, you're going to be a really good 75 year old. Oh, just it's a fat, okay. it's, God, it's no, so good, this camera. No, I know, it's fat. The lens is brilliant. It's incredible.